Now let's work on adding gravity so the monkey can avoid the trees. We're going to amend the monkey code, so make sure you are on the monkey. You need two new variables, fall speed and gravity. So make sure you click on make a variable, name it fall speed, make it for all sites, and make another gravity. Make a variable, gravity, make it for all sprites. Also, if you notice, if variable boxes are checked off, it places information about the variable in your stage. The only one that we need to see is the launch speed. So uncheck all the other boxes. Now we're going to add a set gravity block to the bottom of the one click. So basically, when you click on the flag, we're saying, okay, set the gravity to a certain point. So under variables, we find our set block. And remember, it's not necessarily going to say gravity, but if you have that triangle, you can find the gravity variable. We want it to minus 0 0.2. Gravity, the value of gravity is how much the fall speed is going to increase every time the monkey moves. The fall speed is going to keep track of how many steps the monkey needs to be moved down by gravity. So to the space key is pressed, we are going to add a fall speed block. So we're going to set the set block, and we want this before it starts moving. So right under point and direction, we're going to say set fall speed to zero. So it starts off at zero. Now we're going to add something else. We're adding this new code to your algorithm is in when the space bar is key pressed. We need to update the repeat until to include all speed and gravity. So we're going to say that we want to change by y. And remember, y is the up and down. X was across. So that's why we're changing the fall speed of the y. So we're going to go and find change y. So here's change y. We're going to put it under the move the launch speed. And we want to change the y by the variable of fall speed. So basically what we're saying is we're changing the y so it is falling. Our fall speed is zero, but it depends on what's going on. So now we're going to go to the variable and say, okay, well, we're changing the y, but what's the fall speed? Well, we want to change the fall speed by whatever the gravity is. So I will take my variable of gravity and put that in here. And then at the end, we want it to go to launcher. So this new block right here is what is going to move the monkey down. And this block contains the variable gravity, which makes the money monkey fall faster each time the loop runs. So let's run the project and see what we can get our monkey to do. understand more about how the gravity effect is working, take a look in Google Classroom for the image explanation.